Okay, this how-to video is going to uh, follow one of the piece by examples that can be found in the book uh, Analog Design and Simulation using AUKAD Capture and Piece by which was written by Dennis Fitzpatrick who's an ex Cadence AE. So if we go to page 138 we're going to do uh, the Salon and Key uh, 1500 Hertz band pass filter circuit. We're going to add some tolerances to the resistors and the capacitors and then run a Monte Carlo analysis to predict the statistical variation of the band pass frequency. So we'll do a new project and we're going to call this, uh, let's call it filter. Analog on mixed AD obviously, we'll base it on a blank project and then we'll start to draw. So place piece by component source, we want a voltage source and we want a an AC voltage source. We want a couple of DC ones, so source, voltage sources, DC. So we want one for the plus 12 volts and one for the minus 12 volts. So let's just double click on these values. Let's add some ground symbols. And one, one down here as well. And again, just drop the, the, the symbols directly onto the, the pins and then we can uh, click and drag. And then we also need some power symbols. So this time we'll go to the, the, the power symbol location and we'll just add the VCC circle. One for the plus and one for the minus. We'll add some passive components, so let's place some resistors. Now I know what the value is going to be, so I can hit it on Control E or Control Edit to get the part value. So let's set this at 1K5, and I want one, two of those, and then this one needs to be 150K, so Control Edit. some capacitors so piece by component passive C and these need to be 10 in one there and one up there then we need to add the the op amp so place parts go to the piece by library let's look for the op amp that's the op amp library we've already added it here the libraries are stored in cadence 16.6 tools capture library piece by the part i need is an lf411 so there's the part let's just cancel that bit add the part now if you notice on this example based on the the, the one that's drawn in the circuit in the in the book uh, they've got this mirror so if the negative is on the top so what we'll do is we will select the part right mouse button and we can uh, mirror this vertically and then we can wire it up so pin 2 goes to the capacitor and then we'll give an alias to the output pin And then we need to add the voltage. So what we'll do is we'll literally just uh, copy and paste, rotate it round. So that's the positive and the negative. Okay. The next section is what we need to do is we need to add some tolerances to the resistors and the capacitors. So um, we can either do this individually or there's a quicker and easier way. So let's uh, use the control key and left select all the resistors and then right mouse button edit properties and we can then get the properties for all the items that we've got selected. There's a tolerance 
so you want to set them all to a tolerance of 5%. So we'll select the tolerance word, right mouse button, edit, and then we can then set a single value for all the entries. 5%, that then specifies the tolerances for all of them. We want to display this on the schematic, so let's select the word again, use the display command, and we'll just display the value. So we've now got 5% specified for all the resistors. Okay, let's do the capacitors as well. So we're going to do a 10% for the capacitors. Then we'll make that displayed as well. Okay, once we've got all the tolerance displayed, let's uh, set up a an AC sweep. So we'll do a new simulation profile, call it AC sweep. And then we want to set up an AC sweep. That's going to start with 100, that's 10k, 50. We then want to do the Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo worst case analysis. So the Monte Carlo is going to be based on the output variable of V out. So it's V brackets out. We want 50 runs. The rest of the defaults will be fine. We'll place a piece by marker. Let's use the dB magnitude of voltage onto the output pin and then we'll run the simulation. So we're obviously going to get all the 50 runs here, so we'll make sure all selected and then click OK. And then we get kind of a, a graph representation of the bandpass filter response. So what we want to do now is have a look at a performance analysis, which might give us a better view uh, to look at the histograms representing this, this statistically generated data. So if we go on to exercise two now, um, we'll go to the trace and we'll run a performance analysis. And then we'll run the wizard. We can click on next on the first screen. We want uh, the center frequency, so we'll click next. Now here we can actually type in V brackets out or we can actually just use the browse button. Um, so if we were to just deselect currents and, and power, we can then see the V out. And we're gonna set up the, the, D, the, D, uh, the DB test for three. Click next. We then start to see the, the 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 nominal trace value or the nominal trace waveform of the bandpass filter. This is the simulation response using the component nominal values. The trace shows two points where the measurement from the waveform will be taken. In this case, the center frequency is defined at 3B down from the maximum value. This is shown so that you can confirm whether you are seeing the correct circuit response and that the measurements are taken at the correct points on the waveform. If we click next, we'll then get a, dis a, a, a display of the histograms representing the general statistical data together with the summar a summary of the st statistical data. So what we're gonna do now is we'll go back to the circuit and we'll actually change some of the tolerances. So we're gonna, instead of using a 5% value for the resistors, we're gonna use a 1% value. And for the capacitors, we're going to half this as well and go down to 5%. Let's rerun the simulation. And then we'll run another performance analysis using the wizard. To see the different results for the lower tolerances. If required, we can also run another performance analysis based on the bandwidth. Uh, 
and see the results there.